Ah, guten tag everybody. What is going on? It's been a while since I've seen all of you. How's it going? It is your pal, Chris, a.k.a. Mr. Ramon420, coming you with a brand review. I know, it's exciting. It's been a while. you seen me. Did you miss me? You did miss me, didn't you? You did? Uh, did, did okay. Uh, no, I'm not going. Um, today is wonderful. Why? Because I get to talk about a film that I actually really enjoyed. Um, that happens a lot, but... You know, when I get to review it, it's like, hey, this is great. This one actually came from a producer of the film. Uh, asked me very nicely if I could review for my channel. I said, yeah, sure. Let me take a look at it. Uh, so he sent me a link uh, for the screener on, uh, on Vimeo. I was actually impressed. It is a 2011 Brazilian film. I, I'll describe what it is in a second. Uh, but a 2011 Brazilian film entitled... Beyond the Grave, or Potos do Mot Poro do Motos, I believe that's how you say it, and I know I'm going to just fuck it up, but what the, um, it was written, produced, and directed by David Pinero, and the producer that actually sent uh, the a copy to me is Isidoro Gucciana, um, great guy, and it actually comes from uh, Lockhart uh, Films, it, it's, <laughs> the film, uh, the uh, film company is actually uh, was created by, I believe, uh, Davi and Isidoro, just for the purposes of you know them may be able to make their own films and get out there. And this is actually Davi's first full-length feature film. He's done a lot of short films before, and this film actually has uh, gotten I think a few awards and actually uh, really interesting. And, and the reason why I said I called it Brazilian films. The way to describe it, it's kind of hard. I would consider it, and I can do how count how many is. Um, it is an action drama, western horror zombie uh, road trip art house supernatural film. So I guess eight eight categories, and it's blended together really nicely. Um, the basic premise of the film is it's the end of the world and it's the post-apocalyptic, uh, you know, catastrophe. And there are a lot of people that, you know, you have your zombies and other creatures and, you know, on the surface you have a cop. Uh, I consider him the man in black. Why? Because we never really know what his name is. And in a way, that's really good to know. There isn't a lot of backstory. It's just there's this guy and he goes around killing criminals and... He types them up, makes reports on them, but the one person he's looking for is the Dark Rider. Uh, the Dark Rider has been, uh, he's been going after him for years and hasn't been able to catch up from him. Along the way, he encounters a young brother and sister, and they are actually trying to look for the same person that, you know, that, you know, Man of Black is looking for, because something horrible happened to their family. And along the way, it's an interesting road trip. There's zombies and demons and killers and insane people along the way and you know while you're doing it you're listening to some good music and a weird DJ who's basically describing his family and the end of the world and it's dark and ominous and but there's a light feel to it it isn't truly nasty there's greediness to it but it, it's interesting it actually did keep me uh, interested throughout the film it's a slow burn so I gotta let you know. So the action sequences are far in between, but when you get there, it's like, hey, it's not bad. And it was done on a, a pretty cheap budget. Uh, and I think it was a hundred fifty thousand dollars, not a lot, but it's amazing what it, you were able to get out of it. Uh, the man in black character, the uh, police officer character, interesting enough, he's, you know, your typical dirty hairy lone wolf. I'm gonna kill you, but it's interesting, you know, it's not boring and, you know, he, he gets hurt and he gets damaged and, you know, he, he's not, he, you know, he's not, you know, elusive from pain. He just, it, pain happens to him, it happens a lot. Um, and, of course, the Dark Rider's an interesting character to have. And I actually would have liked to see more of the Dark Rider, you know, something that this could have been out going for, you know, like, one or two or three films. And truthfully, if this film makes enough money, I would like to see 
more of, you know, the Man in Black character. What happens? What goes on? Uh, but of course, you know, in, you know, in the end, there is the inevitable showdown between, you know, the Man in Black and the Dark Rider, and it's a huge clash. It's interesting. Um, but throughout the film, you know, there are parts where you, you know, if you're looking for a truly gore-fest horror film, this isn't the film for you. It's, it's nice and it's fun and there's some good feelings to it and I really enjoyed it. Uh, that's what I like to get out of my film, to enjoy. Uh, it doesn't have to be the nastiest thing. And some people think, oh, we gotta give Chris this nasty, gross, fucked up thing. I love that stuff. This is interesting. I like that too. You know, when it comes down to it, a good film is a good film. This is actually an enjoyable film. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to give, you know, props to uh, Davi Pinero for writing this. Interesting, you know, it's a little interesting film. It's not long. It's, a, you know, a little over an hour and a half. So you're, you're not going to be, like, waiting how long this is going to take. And it's, it's interesting. And a big thanks to Isidoro Gaziana for, you know, sending me this. Really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to give you guys a link, because here's the thing. It is not on DVD. It's not on Blu-ray. They haven't been able to, you know, get it out yet to the, uh, the general public. It is on Netflix. So if you are subscribed to Netflix, I would definitely suggest you take a look at it. And I will give you a link to, you know, to where you can get on Netflix. If you don't, um, maybe there's another way to do it, but this is, this is actually interesting and fun to watch. I, I actually, I actually was saying while watching, it's like, oh, this is, this is fine. This is great. This was really good. Um, so I gotta say thank you to Davi for making a fun film and thank you again to Isidore for, for doing this. Uh, I would definitely encourage again, everyone to check this out. Uh, if you love road trip films, this is an interesting one. Zombies, you're not going to get a lot out of it, but there is some good gore and some good blood. And there's one really disgusting zombie in it. The zombies actually act different in this compared to a lot of other films. Uh, take a look when you see. Uh, I, I would say, it's like, oh, okay, this is, wow, interesting, but it works. That's what I, you know, I think, it, you know, definitely definitely check out highly recommend it so now it is the part of the video where I usually tell you about all the people and movies and stuff you should check out that's gonna hold on for a second before I do that I have some exciting news for me uh, I'm not sure if anyone else is gonna be as happy as I am just recently I was asked by Beneath the Underground to be the newest reviewer on the website uh, First off, wow, it's a fucking honor. If, if you watch my videos, and hopefully you've seen one or two, you know, you know, how I, you know, talk, how much I talk about these people. Uh, amazing group of awesome motherfuckers. Uh, there's so many people involved, and, you know, and some incredible relationships with, you know, film companies and, and directors and producers and writers. It's just a great collaboration of a lot of people that have put in so much effort and so much work into making this an amazing place. Um, hopefully me being a part of it will not decrease its value. I hope not. I like to think. Uh, but I will do my best to live up to the standards of, you know, giving some really good views. Nothing's going to change, without a doubt. It's going to be the same old shit. Who knows? Hell, I'm probably going to be adding that motherfucker up there for a, a review. Not for a good one, Lord knows, for a real shitty one. But, yeah, nothing's going to change. It's, it'll just be me adding Beneath the Other Ground and for a film. And But without that, uh, again, thank you, and I am honored. I am so looking forward to it, you know, being part of this. Uh, I will actually give you the link below to where you can, you know, see my dumbass face on it. There's actually a picture of me in I look like a moron. Wait, when do I not look like a moron? Um, so yes, again, thank you. 
Uh, now, of course, is the time for the links. Beyond the Grave, fantastic, highly recommended, and of course, the only way you're going to be able to find them watching this film is on Netflix. Hopefully, in the future, you'll be able to you know see it in other places, DVD, video on demand, other areas, and Blu-ray. But for right now, this Brazilian supernatural road trip film can only be seen on Netflix. Definitely check it out. I'll give you a link to the trailer, a link to Nef uh, the Netflix page, uh, a link to also uh, the Beyond the Grave Facebook page. Um, Isadora is doing an amazing job. You know, Davi, thank you for putting this, you know, your first fully feature, feature film. Amazing. Uh, bravo. And looking forward to what Lockhart films will be coming out in the near future. Can't wait. Uh, also, as I mentioned before, Beneath the Underground. If you are a fan of underground horror and just weird films uh, done on low budget and you know independent, uh, there's a Facebook group that's there for you. It's a really good Facebook group. I'm not going to trash a few others, but there are others that are crap. This one is amazing. I, you know, just give the link and ask. It is a close group, so you will have to ask. Uh, and of course, you know, I can't really mention any, I don't think there's really a lot of other people like, uh, oh yeah, near future I will be doing a shout out page for a few, uh, you know, YouTube reviewers who really deserve it, um, amazing group of people, uh, I'll be looking to see who, who can I put on the video and whatnot, and of course, if you're bored, if you're tired, and if you're sick of playing stupid racy games on, you know, Facebook, because Lord knows they can get pretty fucking boring, check out my Facebook page. Uh, it's not the best. might not be the worst. It's just there. Again, I'll put a link to that, and I'll put a link to all those other uh, places. Guys, once again, you're amazing, and thank you for being patient with me. You know, I know it's been a little while. You're all amazing. You're all rock. You're all fucking rock stars. I'll try to get another video out soon. Hopefully, pretty soon. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Again, if you want to message me on Facebook, please do so. Till next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and don't drink the Kool Aid. Later.